All right, George, here we go. In less than three weeks, on December 9th, I will be blasting off in the next Blue Origin <laughs> space launch. Yay. There you go. Yay. Going to space. You're a brave man, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you've already been preparing for this. Yeah, I, I have been preparing for this. And um, you know what? You guys can take a look at my preparation for this journey. Two, one. In T minus 16 days, I'll be taking a journey that's out of this world. Boarding Blue Origin's third human flight into space. Just two weeks ago, I began preparations, measuring for my flight suit. There, thank you. And since I clock in at six uh, foot five. So this is our New Shepard uh, astronaut seat. Blue Origin had me test out a flight seat. Oh, this is comfortable. Okay. I feel like I'm at my barber. He's about to give me an edge up. Former astronaut Dr. Nicholas Patrick and Kevin Sprogue are on hand for all safety checks. Let's measure a couple of things. We didn't design for folks with your shoulders. I'm going to put that there for me. That's actually working pretty well. Give me your zero right. G. <laughs> this year has been historic for human space travel. Release. Beginning on July 11th. Ignition. When Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic launched the first ever private passenger flight to space. If we can do this. Just imagine what you can do. Followed just days later by Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin. And most recently, traveling the farthest into space for three days. Looks like a smooth ride for the crew. SpaceX, founded by Elon Musk. Space exploration already producing discoveries in technology, science, and innovation. Think of the satellites that power our cell phones. And NASA saying this new era of private space exploration could do the same. <laughs> uh? Oh. Wow. Already lowering the cost of flying to space, opening the door for new advancements like space-based solar power, internet access for hard-to-reach communities, and medical innovations. Just four months ago, history is about to be made in just a few moments. I was reporting on Blue Origin's first human launch. You just can't help but be in awe of watching this. This is just magnificent. One of the greatest things I've ever seen in my time here on this planet. Moments after landing, I spoke with founder Jeff Bezos and his brother Mark. We need to get good at going to space so that we can save the Earth. It's true that we've got tons of problems here on Earth, and we need to work on those in the here and now, too. And we need to be building reusable space vehicles so that future generations can build that vision. I'm enamored by what you've done. I mean, this is, I wouldn't have considered doing this until I saw you today. Completely unaware, I too would be asked to board the flight of a lifetime. And I won't be going alone. Joining me in the capsule, Laura Shepard Churchley, the eldest daughter of the first American to ever fly to space, Alan Shepard, and four other passengers, including the first parent and child pair to blast into space. Just two days ago, I tried on my flight suit for the very first time. It's like a glove. And in just 16 days, I will go where few men and women have gone before. A few adjustments, and we are A-OK, -okay, perfect fit. Go on this space. Go to space. Wow. How did this all happen? Well, Blue Origin, they approached me, and they asked if, if I wanted to be a crew member, and without hesitation, excuse me, without hesitation, I said, yes. What wow. made you want to do it? I wanted to go to space. I think being there at the first launch, it just really, it just, it really was mind blowing. Mm -hmm. And Robin, and, and innovators have been risk takers, you know, the Wrights brothers. We would have, how would we live without a plane now? We don't think about things like that. And I believe that this is the, the way of being innovative, creative, um, pioneers in aviation, now space travel. And it's going to take a while, but I do believe that it will bring a lot of techn technological breakthroughs and, and also innovations to us here on Earth. And I just wanted to be a part of it. I just, you know, was really enamored by the first flight I saw. Very cool. So what's next? Oh, I have to go. I have to go down to Texas. I have to head to the Blue Origin facility. It's about a week and a half. We have to do all the safety briefings. We have to, you know, get prepared, all the training that it takes to, mm -hmm. to do it. And I have a great crew who I've met over Zoom. And um, um, we have... Laura Shepard Churchley, she's the daughter of astronaut Alice Shepard. Um, Dylan Taylor, he's a space industry philanthropist. Evan Dick, who's also, he's an investor. And Lane Best, he's the founder of Best Ventures. And he's joining, and joining him is his child, Cameron. And they're making history of the first ever parent and child pair to fly into space. But to see everybody on his Zoom, to see the ex excitement, 
to do this and to come together. And I mean, you really feel like you're part of a great team. And I'm excited to get down there to Texas, to the Blue Origin training facility, and just um, enjoy the whole process of it. Very.